G'day, g'day! How the honk are ya? Welcome to Rover Land, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Reminding you, keep calm and carry on. That's right. During these trying times. All right, we're gonna do, uh, uh, well, kind of part two, but uh, really it's not part two. It's just a continuation of the looking at the Majorette, oh boy, knew that was coming. Majorette number four, uh, two, two, four, seven, two, four, oh boy. This is gonna be a good video. Hold on, folks. <laughs> number 246, the Range Rover 246. And uh, this is what they call uh, the uh, rescue team, I guess. Yes. Um, which is a branch from, and uh, I'll try to tag this video uh, up here, I guess, and uh, check that out. We took a look at this one first, which came out first, the 246. Uh, in, uh, so yeah, so now we're continuing on. It changed from this casting to what we're looking at today. Still a number 246, uh, but now it, um, it went to the rescue unit. The rescue unit went to the rescue team. So this was the first one that came out, and I, I'm still kind of up in the air on this because the there's not a lot of information uh, on these guys. You know, um, I did. I went to. Uh, I go to Phantom uh, Wiki, and they uh, give me the information that they've got. But uh, yeah, so it's kind of the same guy. They they got the same number on the bottom. They changed it later on. This is the earlier model, uh, and they and this one here in the package doesn't really come with um, any information on a date or anything like that when this came about. So this is like 1988, 1989, and uh, rescue team. But it's uh, the rescue unit is what it's got on there. That's not a, that is like a sticker on there, but that's what it is. We've moved from the open rear uh, fire rescue apparatus with a ladder to being a closed cabin uh, scenario here. So this is the first one. This would be uh, 200 series because it's on the, uh, on the card by itself and uh, so yeah 200 series and you could pause that and take a look at how many other different uh, cars they had at that time like I say unlike Matchbox and Hot Wheels they did not put a date on here to let us know exactly what kind of time frame this was but from what I got 1988 to 89 Blue, light blue window in there. Now you see on the ladder there that it's almost clear. So this is a light blue clear window. Um, black interior. And then um, white ladder. And this has got the 4V wheels. And which is kind of like uh, the last edition, okay? Uh, the, or the, the, truck that we looked at here this is what they used first okay all right so that's what I got carded that's the only one I got carded all right so then we move on and in 1990 then uh, they moved to this style and this has got the uh, dash wheels to it yes so blue window and this is kind of a these are kind of beat up but it is the rescue unit blue window with the black interior and you see that tab comes out and covers up the trailer hitch there so your unit comes off uh, you know and I don't know I think yes this did come out with a uh, the 300 series with some kind of a uh, uh, trailer or something on it and uh, so you know you can find them there I, I don't have anything like that um, but uh, black interior is the biggest thing with these. 
uh, the second ver second uh, 246. The first ones had white interior and uh, same base and everything. They just changed the uh, casting a little bit. Even on the top there, uh, you know, it, it's all different where this is just a two-door Range Rover without any back windows and then the uh, fins up there <laughs> for the ladders. But uh, but the newer models came out with these dash, five dash uh, dot wheels. So there you go. And I got two of those. Oh, and uh, this one I drilled apart. Yeah, so let's take a look at an in-depth look at this one. This is the fire unit one. And so it was, uh, it's a one rivet construction. It hooks in the back there and one rivet construction. So I'll take that off. And uh, now this one was, uh, the, the beacons on the top were busted out, but uh, here's the glass for it. And you can see that those, uh, those beacons just got plain out busted right out, but they're, They've got window uh, wipers on there and a rear view mirror that are kind of molded in there. Kind of nice. And that's uh, the typical is uh, blue. They're, they're pretty much blue. And then the main casting, we'll take a look at that real quick. Very nice. A couple of bumps there where those came through. But uh, very, very nice. Uh, here's a casting number there. But just a really plain Jane, smooth sides inside with that uh, the rear hitch that uh, hook that goes into the bottom base. And we'll look at that shortly here. And then, uh, well, let's take a look at the interior. So this is a black interior, which so happens to be uh, the same as the white interior. We're gonna bring that guy back over here. You can see that it's the same interior. They just went from white to uh, black interior. So yeah, it's virtually the same thing as we can see there. But uh, left-hand hooker, and you can see the, 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 how that uh, front grill is attached to the interior there, and the front, uh, uh, hood vents there so that's the interior there and then this is the base and it's got the traditional uh, wire there that uh, holds the axles down and uh, you know gives it the suspension and they're kind of clipped in there uh, with the those hooks that are uh, cast into there so very very nice very easy to uh, swap the wheels on that now I'll show you a little bit more about that but um, so the other thing that we got to look out for here now is the earlier models had made in France stamped on the base all right so keep that in mind these are still made in France so let's go ahead oh yeah here's the the cute part is the little the frog frog headlights there <laughs> so all right, so you got to catch them frog headlights in there in the base or the interior there. And uh, so then what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, interior glass back in here. And that just kind of sets in there without those, uh, without those uh, bubble gums on top. They don't really, it doesn't really stay in there just like that. Yeah. All right, get over there. Holy cow, shot across there. All right, all right, everything's all right. Don't worry, oh boy. Glass went sideways. The whole show went sideways. <laughs> oh, cheese balls. All right, here we go. So there we go. We put that in there, hooked that on the tail end there. As you can see, if we can keep in frame and keep in focus. And I did not tap this out or, or anything. I just drilled that out. Uh, matter of fact, a long time ago, I just happened to notice that uh, this one was uh, drilled out. So... There you go, an in-depth look. Uh, I don't have any of these that are drilled out, uh, but I'm assuming it's the same construction because it's the same base uh, and interior and stuff like that. Just the top would be just a little bit different. So, all right, so moving right along, um, 
and this is where uh, we have the no made in France now. So uh, we're going to take a look at that real quick here. This is a nice shiny based one. This is a really mint condition one here. Very, very nice. And now this is switched now from the fire, uh, the rescue unit on the side to the District 3 fire department with a three on the door and then engine number 224. All right. And so these are no longer made in France. I don't know if this one came out. And there's a couple of nice, uh, by the time these came out, they really did some nice variations. And uh, I don't have those. Uh, this is all I've got as far as variations, but I have a couple. So hold on, we'll talk about them. So, all right, so this one here has got the blue window with the black interior and the five dash dot wheels all right so pretty standard there pretty standard pretty nice you could pick these up these are not too bad these are kind of kind of dime a dozen um i've got three of them here i i don't remember where i bought uh these from but uh they're all pretty much mint condition all all three of them very very nice rollers uh, you know the those uh, beacons the bubble gums on top uh, kind of get kind of scuffed there so there we go so really nice uh, there you go so the next move that we go to is um, and that's this is like running from 1992 to 98 1992 to 1998 so the next variation that we've got, uh, back uh, 1999, okay? Now it's a blue window, as uh, the other one had, and a black interior, just like that. But this one has got a darker gray ladder. And I think you can pick that out pretty, pretty clear and plain there. That's uh, pretty obvious, pretty obvious. Now, I've got three of the lighter gray ladders, and then I have two of the darker gray ladders loose. All right, so here we go. Uh, very, very nice. All, all uh, the same. No made in France on the bottom. Pretty much all the same. District 5. Fire department number number three there, so that's all that's there. Now the other uh, thing that I have with those dark ladders is I do have them on the cart. Now I know I bought these off of eBay because there's no way I'd find anything this nice in Wisconsin. So <laughs> so there you go. I got two of these buggers. Uh, let's just take a look at one of them um, once again. The no made in France on the bottom. Uh, attention, choking hazard, the small parts. So uh, no children for under three years old. And that's got to be for the ladder because there's nothing else that comes apart. And uh, metal, uh, majorette. And so let's take a look at the back here, the Series 200. So that's the single card. The Series 300 has got a trailer on it. Um, so I think you can kind of we'll kind of kind of zoom in here so you can kind of look and see. Now these do say 91, uh, 927, 91. Of course they do uh, day, month, year, and we do month, day, year. So that's kind of tricky. Glad you guys could follow me along there. <laughs> this I think is just from the store that uh, it was sold from. This one doesn't have it. This one's got the actual. Uh, UPC is still on it from uh, from there. So, um, so I have uh, another one of those that is loose and uh, you know uh, missing the ladder. This one's not drilled out, but uh, so this is that uh, late uh, '90s '90s era here. So pretty pretty neat. So there we go. Uh, I've got one more thing to show you. Uh, I, I have a jammer that's full of customs 
that I've started and then I move and then I gotta pack them up and leave and then I move and so then I pack them up and leave. So this is what I have. This is the, um, the fire unit or the district number three uh, that I've got and uh, started working on it. As you can see, I try to take care of the, uh, the uh, fins and the uh, bubble or the uh, uh, emergency lights out the top. This is just in a flat gray. And uh, I, uh, I don't know, I, I think I lost the windows or maybe I took it apart because it didn't have a window, I'm not sure. But uh, so this is a black interior and I don't remember what wheels it had on it, but this is how easy it is to just put some uh, nice, this is the round circle uh, uh, matchbox wheels. So there you go. Pretty, pretty nice there. But uh, this is an older one that would be more like this one. It probably came with those kind of wheels because it does have made in France on there. Now I probably took this apart long before um, I knew <laughs> that this was kind of more collectible because it has that made in France, but that's all right. It was pretty well beat up in the first place. That's why I drilled it apart because I, I think, like I said, I think it was missing its window and it was pretty well beat up, you know, missing a ladder. So there you go. So yeah, so someday on our channel, we are going to finish up this custom. And uh, if you go over to Phantom Wiki, Phantom Wiki, uh, you can see that there are some cars uh, in this uh, body style that uh, were some nice aftermarket. So I would like to uh, uh, make some placeholders or uh, something or a Dakar Rally uh, one out of this. I, I'm not really sure what I want to do, what kind of livery. I kind of like that rake on there. <laughs> it's kind of a dragster type rake, but uh, pretty, pretty kind of cool. I really like that. All right, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it. That is the uh, rescue unit. Uh, the number 246 for Majorette. Uh, uh, they weighed these all, all the way up to 2005. So, uh, yeah, the rescue team uh, stuff. So that district number nine. So pretty, pretty kind of cool. I really like that. This is a cool casting. It's really neat. They, they kind of came a little bit more popular. Like I said, I was able to find some on the card. That's really kind of neat for a collector like I am that likes them loose and on the card. So you have, you know, uh, different variations of these and what they look like throughout the years. So there you go. All right, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, come on over to Facebook, Roverland. And join up there, as well as Instagram, Roverland Channel. Give me a big thumbs up here. Subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your enemies, everybody. Everybody's a friend of Roverland, so come on out. And remember, folks, on your way out, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.